Hey guys, Olga Sobi here and today I'm in a mood for acrylic pour feather and of course I'm going to be doing a paint kiss feather. I haven't done this technique for a very long time so I really missed it. And uh, you can find all the colors and mixture details in the description. For my traveling paint kiss I'm going to be using these uh, silicone cups today instead of regular small cups. I haven't used them for paint kiss before so I'm really not sure if this is going to work. I mean, I don't see why not, but I guess we're gonna find out together very soon. So for my negative space, I'm trying to stay away from regular white color. So this is like a very light blue. And here I'm gonna add colors for the feather. The reason I didn't cover uh, canvas in the center is because I don't want an overall layer of paint here once I do the feather to be too thick because when it's, when it's too thick the paint's gonna spread out without keeping the shape of the feather and also it's gonna be much harder for paint to dry without crazing and cracking so I like to keep it without paint at first. So I have two cups ready. Normally I would hold this cup the other way but today I want to try it a bit differently. Okay, so let's do the feather. looks interesting. Usually I have uh, dark on the inside and light on the outside. This time it's the other way around. Let's see how this works out. So I'm gonna stretch it a little bit. It's very nice, but I don't like that this this uh, feathering is has really sinked into um, base color. I should have expected it. So yeah, I think I want to blow it out a little bit. I think this would look much better if I blow it out. This looks really cool. I love it. Really love it. Let me know how you like it. How do you like this feathery beauty? I, to me it looks like a little magical feather. Thank you so much for watching. Happy pouring. If you also give this technique a try, please share in our Facebook group. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!